Hello and welcome to this somatic yoga class for panic attacks. So maybe you're here because you're feeling a panic attack coming on. Maybe one is in full swing already in you and you just don't know how to get rid of that negative energy within you, how to get rid of that activation that is rising up in your body, so much anxiety in your body right now. So what we're gonna do is move together through a nice somatic practice that is gonna give all that energy accumulated within your body a place to go so you don't have to hold it. I invite you to find a nice comfortable standing pose in the middle of your mat here and start by just noticing how your body feels on the ground. Maybe you're feeling very jittery, maybe you cannot sit still, maybe your head is full of thoughts and fears. Just notice all that and bring that into this moment, into this practice. Head on the next in-breath. I invite you to lift up your shoulders, shrug them up all the way to your ears. Feel that contraction in your upper back. And as you sigh out, release. Uh, let's repeat a few more times, feeling that controlled contraction of your shoulders. Maybe they're already hunching up even subconsciously but now you're adding an extra exaggeration to that movement hunching up feeling that contraction in your body that energy is coming alive in you and releasing with a vocal sigh out <sighs> one last time come up come up through your inhale and release <sighs> shake off your arms a little bit here just move that energy that's starting to accumulate in your upper body and usually with panic attacks and anxiety the energy does accumulate in our head and in our shoulders and our trap muscles hello friend can you move a little <laughs> and now i invite you to clasp your fingers together so your hands create a nice little fist here we're going to do a little visualization together so this uh, counts as your nice little wrist warm-up for the funky sun salutations that we're gonna do later. But also imagine that all of this energy that you're feeling in your body, all of this panic attack, fearful, anxious energy is getting accumulated inside of your wrists as if this is a little ball of energy. Maybe give it a color, maybe give it a shape. And imagine there's this ball of energy, of anxious energy inside of your wrists here inside of your hands now start making small circles with your wrists here warming them up from side to side and as you do keep sending all of that anxiety from your head your shoulders your upper back into your hands into that little ball of anxiety in your hands if it feels good for you perhaps even feel free to close your eyes to visualize this better. This is just an option, so feel free to take it or not. Now I invite you to switch sides and start making little round circles to the other side with your wrists, warming them up, but also still accumulating all of that energy that you don't want in your body inside of your hands. That ball keeps growing and growing and growing. Keep breathing here, noticing that ball in your hands growing, increasing its size, accumulating all of that energy in you. Well done. Now come to stillness. Now open up your hands and imagine releasing that anxious ball of energy. It leaves your body, it exits your surroundings. It just floats up to the sky and now shake off your hands of any excess anxiety that you might be feeling and perhaps here you see that you want to sink into your knees that it's not just your hands that are shaking off but your whole arms your whole body is swaying shaking just a few more moments here swaying releasing that energy out before we find our way to the front of the mat for some funky sun salutations well done come back to stillness now walk yourself to the front of your mat here for a nice little grounding stand in mountain pose just feeling your spine strong but soft 
We're gonna play around a little bit with our sun salutations today, which is such a nice way to expel energy. You drive it somewhere else but your head. It's gonna go through your body and out of your body. On the next in-breath, I invite you to lift up your arms above your head. And on the next out breath, swing those arms back down and into ragdoll with a sigh out. <sighs> Stay here with knees bent, perhaps sway from side to side. Just for one moment. And on the next in breath, rise up. We'll repeat two more times expanding the spine here, feeling that stretch in your whole upper body, reaching your hands up to the sky. And on the next breath out, release back into Ragdoll. Ah. No need to keep your knees straight here. Sink into that bend here. Nothing is strained, everything is soft. Going against that contracted, anxious energy in your body. We want to introduce some softness, some fluidity here. One more time, lift up with a rounded spine. Raise your arms high up above, reach up to the sky, perhaps wiggle your fingers here, making them come alive. There's more aliveness in your body than just this anxious energy in your head. And on the next out breath, swing the arms down, ah, release. Well done, now stay here, place your hands on the mat. And with the next out breath, step back into your high plank. And as you find your nice high plank, make sure that you're not hunching your back here. Just sink into your hands, your back nice and straight and soft. And perhaps let's sway from back to forth. Starting to feel that activation in your shoulders. And maybe this is already starting to feel quite challenging for you. And this is the point that we want to make for the body with this class. This anxious energy is starting to have a place to go. A few more times. Feeling this plank and on the next out breath, lower down, all the way down to your mat. And find your up dog. Slowly with control, expanding your back, shining your chest to the front of the room. And when you're here, pop your side back to the left side. Check what's happening on your left foot. Come back to center. Now look behind you and check what's happening with the right foot. Two more times to each side. Feeling that lower back working here on that rotation. Noticing your body in space expanded. Sinking your breath with the movement. Come back to center. Now tuck your toes, lift up your knees. Shoot up the hips up to the sky. Find your down dog here. Now feel free to bend your knees, paddle the feet out. Again, no need to strain the body here. Invited to this moment, to the movement paddling the feet nicely. And every time your heel comes down to the ground, imagine your energy, your body grounding. So instead of just being completely in your head, your heels, your feet, your hands are grounding you down to the mat, to the floor, to the earth. Release, come back to center. And now with the next in-breath, step with your feet to the front of the mat for a halfway lift. Find your forward fold. And on the next in-breath, rise up. Hands come above your head here. 
then gently release. Notice perhaps in this moment how your body is feeling. Perhaps if the energy is a little bit better distributed, not just in your head and your upper back, but also in your pelvis, in your legs. Just take a moment to acknowledge what's happening in your body, how this energy is being transformed as you move. On the next in-breath, arms up. Out breath, release them down. Ah. Come back up. Fall down. Ah. Come back up. Your spine is soft. Nothing is rigid in this class. Ah. Coming down. Place your hands on the mat here. Straighten your back for a nice halfway lift. With the next out breath, step back into your high plank. Let's do a little challenge here. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your left hand, really finding that balance on three points of contact with the mat. And noticing how you have to activate your core, how your breathing has to come online. You have less time and space to be in your head. Balancing is often so beneficial for working with panic, with anxiety. One last time each side. Well done. Come back to center. Just hold this plank for a little bit. and release down to the mat fully. Take a breather here, and whenever you're ready, find your up dog. Just softening your spine here, wherever you are, adjust your pose to feel comfortable for you. Feel free to close your eyes if this is feeling good for you right now. And perhaps on the next in-breath, you can bend the right foot in. Next out-breath, release. In-breath, bend the left knee. And repeat a few more times in your own pace, taking whatever is serving you right now. Perhaps it's just stillness and you're just staying still in your up-dog. Whatever feels good. One last time, release, tuck your toes, pick up your knees, and your hips are shooting up to the sky for a nice little down dog here. So see now whether, whether you're getting a little bit more space in your down dog. And on the next out breath, I invite you to drop your knees down to the mat Hover them just a little bit, a few centimeters above the mat here. Don't come all the way down. Activate your core, shoot the hips up. Let's repeat a few more times, dropping down, hovering above the mat, shooting the hips up. Dropping down, shooting up. Well done, next in breath. Step in between your hands here for a nice little halfway lift. Forward fold. Again, knees are bent. Everything is soft. And we'll lift up. Once again, notice your body. Notice what's going on in your body right now. And for this last round of sun salutation, we're going to start bringing this energy back into our center, back into stillness. So more holds, less of activation. This is gonna really help you calm down the anxiety. Next in breath, reach the arms up above your head. Next out breath, release uh, into ragdoll. Feel free to sway here if that feels good or find your moment of stillness. Place your hands on the mat. 
for a nice little halfway lift. On the next out breath, step back into your plank. And let's just hold the plank completely still for just a few breaths here, really activating that core and hunching that back. Noticing your breath, what's happening in your chest. Can you drive that breath a bit deeper, a bit, bit more to the sides of your lungs? One more breath in and out. Drop down onto your mat, slowly and gently. Untuck your toes, find your up dog. Long spine here, feel free to close your eyes and just feel this back bend in your body. Feel that stillness. Perhaps feel the stillness and the discomfort. Well done. Now tuck the toes, bring the hips back, lift the knees up, find your down dog for a nice little few deep breaths here in complete stillness. Breathing deeply into your belly, noticing that breath changing quality from the shallow and small and short breath that you had at the beginning, perhaps because of the panic attack. On the next in-breath, look forward, step forward. Find your halfway lift. Find your forward fold. And lift up, back to standing. Well done. For a nice little last challenge of this class, get up on your tippy toes here and let's do a nice little chair pose together, lifting up the arms just above your head, finding a nice little straight spine here, holding in that balance, finding the stillness in the challenge. Keep breathing deeply. Keep breathing into your side lungs here. One more breath. Well done. And release. Come back to seated in the middle of your mat. Almost closing the, this practice. I'm going to do a few more grounding movements that are going to help you to really get rid of any of the excess energy in your head. So I invite you to find a nice cross-legged seat here or easy pose, whatever feels good. Place your hands on your knees and just sway from side to side. Perhaps you would like to close your eyes for this part of the practice. And just keep going with that energy that was activated in you in this class. And this gentle swaying is helping it just dissipate out of the body. And know that you can do this gentle swaying practice any time that you feel a panic attack coming on. It's like self-soothing for the nervous system. The energy has some place to go, but in your head. A few more times, freestyling, whatever feels good. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Well done, come back to center. And now for the next movement we're gonna do, just take your hands and press them into your upper thighs. Press, 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 really feeling that contraction and activation in your whole body. Any of that excess energy is being driven out, out of your body right now. And release. Uh. Focusing here on the releasing part. So we're controlling the activation in our body, the contraction, but then feel that release. Feel what your nervous system is capable of. 
Let's press two more times, pressing strongly into the thighs, the thighs pressing against the hands. And release. Uh, one last time, pressing strongly into the thighs. And release. Uh, well done, shake off your hands, your arms, perhaps once again, any of that excess energy out of the head, out of your upper back, your traps, your shoulders, everything is discharged, everything is cleared out of the body. I invite you to take a moment here to ground into yourself, perhaps take a Shavasana if this is something that will serve you. I wanna thank you for joining me in this practice. <laughs>